back to Askarna. As I told you before, we're all on these soul contracts, but we are not alone. We've talked about the contract is very precise. There is a real purpose in terms of us sharing our gifts and talents with the world. And we have guides with us. I call them co-journeyers. And we also have something else. I call that soul family. Now, soul family is very different than family of origin. That means family that we are born with is our family of origin. And soul family could also include people we're born with, but also can include many, many other people in our lives. A lot of people complain to me in my sessions about their soul origin family, meaning who they were born with. Now, I think it's really interesting that, and this is also contractual here, that our parents or people we are born in families with actually don't always have the purpose of being that co-journeyer, but can be a person in our lives that help us grow, meaning they can be difficult. And I think many of you understand that they can challenge and be difficult and it doesn't always feel great, but that's part of the soul contract. Some say we choose those families and sometimes we can even find a soulmate or co-journeyer in those families and I think they do show up also in our family of origin, but this is the most important point here, is if you don't have that kind of energy in the family you were born in, there are many, many other people that are and can be your soul family. Sometimes people say to me, I have no family when parents die. And I ask them, well, what about your soul family? So don't be limited to think if you weren't born with them, you have no family. In fact, there is a wonderful soul family that's there for you. And the most important thing is to remember, you are not alone. Thank you.